Roger, that's good. I don't wanna, that's what I want to hear. This is a magazine strictly about road racing and nothing else, and that's the way it should be. We'll have a magazine of our own. We don't have to share it with anybody else. Marty Siegel takes the early lead. We need a member of Willard Ivan's crew to go down to mid nine with, with a vehicle. If you could, anybody from Willard Ivan's uh, crew with a vehicle go down and see mid nine in the turn nine area. Okay, your leaders are up around turn number five and six and going down the hill for the first time. Every race and eight lap event, this is uh, the same as uh, all the other races and eight lap event. Cal Rayborn, can, can we have Cal up here to the booth? Well, if he would have had three wins under his belt today, we would have had Cal Rayborn, would have been the man of the meeting. I think you still are. You won all, a lot of support races, Cal, but that last race, buddy, what happened on that last one? Front tire washed out. Now you entered back up in eighth, and you worked your way up in the second. Good run up through the field. Thank you. I had to get on the ball there. I was way behind. Uh, well, you did a good job today. What has been your secret the last six months? You're really coming on strong here. Well, I got a good pit crew. Got a lot of people helping me out now, and everything's working good. Well, at the end of the season, what are your plans now for next year, Cal? Well, hopefully the GSXR series and uh, probably a Ninja and the Interceptor. Well, now this isn't going to be a, a, a Suzuki GSXR series next. I mean Yamaha. Honda, Kawasaki, they're all four are going to get into this, and all four are going to be paying money, so you can get any bike you want then, but you still go with the Suzuki. Yeah, yeah well, you know, you ride what you can get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, Cal, uh, congratulations today. Good luck to you next year. I hope to see you out there because Road Atlanta was a gas, and you would have loved it. All right, you'll see me out there. All right, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Stop us, please. Okay, we got Chris Mallory out in front on the Suzuki, running in second, Marty Siegel also on a Suzuki and running in third, bike number 147. Uh, as we look down the list, it could be 148. No, 147, that's Mike Hunter on a Honda, and he's leading the 750 class. Better double check that. As we uh, come around turn number nine, you're probably right, maybe it is Mike Hunter out, uh, out in front of that 750 class, third overall, but here come your leaders and we'll check it out. Still Chris Mallory doing a good job on front. The first time he's led today. Marty Siegel running in second spot. And it is. It's 147, and that's Hunter in third. A good job. He's leading the 750 class. Then comes 261, Steve Rupp. And then in uh, fifth, fifth spot, bike number 67. And bike number 67, that is... Uh, Malcolm Hill, we've got running in sixth spot after it looks like you probably got a poor start. We'll have to, we'll have to start picking it up. 67 is uh, is Guy Gunn on a Suzuki. Malcolm Hill running in sixth spot on a Suzuki, bike number 80. Then comes Scott Kavnis, the right out of Dana Point. He is running in seventh spot, bike number 649. The field hairs. He, uh, he's running back there in a very unfamiliar sixth position. We usually see him up for the front. As my voice is about ready to let go, as you can tell, it's starting to break up. Once again, we want to make, we want to tell everybody the six-hour results are not available. The six-hour results are not available today. So if you start asking questions, you're not going to get any answers at all. The six-hour results are not available. Boy, Mallory is uh, just decimating this field right now as he's got a big lead over Marty Siegel, bike number 252, coming by in second spot. In third spot, 147, there's your leader in the 750 class. Good run by Marty uh, Hunter. What's this guy? Yeah, Mike Hunter. Then comes Malcolm Hill now, running in uh, fourth spot. So Malcolm Hill is uh, 
just placed two riders behind him, and Malcolm Hill running up in fourth, running second in that class. The only interesting thing about this race now is can Malcolm Hill uh, catch Mike Hunter toward the end? Hill on the uh, Suzuki, Mike Hunter on the Honda. High number 261, that is uh, uh, Steve Rupp. He's running up there and now in fifth spot. And then comes Scott Cavanis behind them. Joe Salvo, any food left down there, buddy? Save some, save some. Mallory still out in front, still holding down about a half a straightaway lead now over uh, over uh, Marty Siegel as they come by to complete another lap. In fact, we're at the halfway point as we look at John Rowley, our starter, as he shows it to our leader, Mallory. And he's going to have a pretty fine win here, a very convincing win over Siegel. Mike Hunter is in third, and it looks like Hill, Malcolm Hill, is definitely on the charge. He's going to catch uh, Hunter here on that Honda very quickly. And Hill on the Suzuki is going to definitely uh, move into third spot overall, first in the class. Who's right behind Hill there? He's, he, he's holding on to Hill. Cavanis is holding on to a hill there like he's tied to a string as they head around turn number two. So Cavanis isn't giving up, and they're both closing in on your 750 leader, Mike Hunter. And there goes the pass. Both Hill and Cavanis get around Hunter going into turn number three. So bike number 80 is now your new 750 leader. on the track right now is just now going into turn number one. Malcolm Hill, he cannot shake Kavnis as they go around turn number one, and Kavnis closes in. This is your announcer, Glenn Billings, along with Ron Beach up here to help in with the scoring and the uh, spotting and the timekeeping. And uh, Ron has earned her money today, let me tell you. And I've earned mine, haven't I, Rhonda? Tell him the truth. All right, she shakes her head. I got her convinced. Of course, I'm doing this. And uh, bike number 183 going by, and that's Richard, is that Richard Moore's number? I know that's Richard Moore's number. Uh, once again, if we could have race number 10, the last race of the day up here to the booth, please. Or up to the pre-grid, excuse me. We need, well, there are no vintages, no Formula 4, so all I've got now is just singles, 250 modified production. And boy, look at that, 250 modified production class has really grown. Open 750 over 40s in the form of fours up to the pre grid.
turn number three. So maybe we haven't heard the last of Scott Cavendish yet as Malcolm Hill, bike number 80, still tries to hold on to that lead in the 750 class. Year, but he really hasn't been figuring in any victories that I can recall uh, that uh, amount to anything. I don't know if he's going to uh, keep that number one plate or not. It depends. Whitney Blakesley's.